Hi Space Cadets, welcome back to another video, Astro Chris here. So today is going to be um, not like a normal video. <laughs> We're just going to check in to see what are the karmics planning because I feel like it's important to tell their secrets. So we're going to look into that. If you've watched my channel before, I think you're pretty familiar by now with how I do these things. All of the cards to my left have been pre-shuffled. We're going to pull some tarot, we're going to clarify, and then we're going to get into some oracles for some more details. Um, if you're new here, please be sure to like and subscribe on your way in. It helps me to pick up on your energy for my channel. Maybe I can help you figure out some things that are going on in your life as well. Um, but we've been picking up on a lot of interesting stuff lately, so I'm curious to see what would come out for this one, but yeah, we're going to be taking a look into what they are planning, and I feel like it's a doozy, so. Bottom deck energy, we have the King of Pentacles here. The King of Pentacles is somebody who is committed. Ooh, King of Pentacles is being sneaky. <clears throat> But yeah, the King of Pentacles is somebody who is committed. They probably care for um, a family. They're probably a husband, a father figure. Probably have a successful business. They're a little wealthy. But let's see what the karmics are doing. There could be a masculine involved here, but take it as it resonates. Ugh, God, of course that card comes out. What are the karmics up to, spirit? Let's tell the world. Hmm? What are they up to? Please help me to tap in. Protect my energy. Protect the energy of my viewers. We're just trying to figure out what's going on. So we can be prepared. Ooh, bottom deck energy. There's the queen of pentacles. So this could be a couple or a husband and wife duo that is the main orchestrators here. <clears throat> okay, so the sun card here is showing up. The sun can represent happiness, it can represent childhood, a child, it can represent illumination, enlightenment. Um, the devil is out here. The devil, of course, we've talked about this in another reading. It showed up recently. Somebody here has a lot of toxicity. Um, the devil can represent negativity, can represent black magic as well. Somebody who is possibly using the occult practices to uh, send negativity directed at somebody specifically. I don't know if that will come out, but we'll see. That could be what's happening here with the devil. This could be a level of intensity in emotions as well. Anger I'm getting from somebody. Um, we have the Three of Wands. The Three of Wands could represent travel, could represent strategy, thinking, planning, um, delays even. And then the Queen of Pentacles, of course, is the match, the counterpart to the King of Pentacles. It uh, can sometimes represent a male or feminine energy, whoever it is that resonates with that. Of course, this is going to be a general reading, so just take whatever resonates for your situation. This could either be something you're dealing with or someone you know is dealing with something, whatever it was. Oh, we got the Two of Cups in the bottom deck energy here of the Tarot Familiar deck. Um, the temperature in my house, or in this room actually, just got like really, really hot. Okay, so the Two of Cups wanted to come out. of cups what's the what's the sun card about here spirit what's the sun ten of cups okay what's the sun what's the sun nine of cups wow what the hell okay seven of swords Oh, I'm getting somebody sold, somebody was sold like a false dream here or something like that. The hanged man, seven of swords, okay. Two of wands, okay. Hmm. Let's just keep going. What's the devil about here, spirit? Clarify the devil, please. 
what's the devil? We got the Page of Swords, Queen of Cups. Somebody could be spying on a Queen of Cups. Five of Swords in the bottom deck, that's Surrender. One more, Three of Pentacles. So there's a collaboration of sorts here. Five of Swords again. Nine of Swords, Anxiety, Stress, Sleepless Nights. Eight of Wands, Communication. Ace of Wands. Hmm. Somebody's surrendering to something here. They're no longer participating in some kind of situation having to do with this devil energy here. And it's almost like something was being orchestrated with this Three of Pentacles. And it may have been directed at a Queen of Cups. And I'm getting the sense that this Queen of Pentacles uh, also roped a King of Pentacles. But this King of Pentacles could really be a King of Cups. And then King of Wands is underneath that. This is a lot of incoming energy. Hmm. I don't know. Somebody could be wearing a false mask here. There's just like a false, false person, a false, um, a false manipulation. Something to do with, uh, just somebody being fake. I don't know. But I feel like somebody's getting tired of a certain situation right now. Because I'm feeling just really drained. What's the Three of Wands here? Ten of Swords. There's... Ten of Swords. It's like somebody is planning a betrayal. Someone's planning to stab somebody in the back somehow. Or to cause stress and worry and... Some kind of ending in a major way here. What's the Three of Wands? What are the Karmics up to? What's the Three of Wands? Two of Swords. Hmm. Four of Swords. The Emperor. High Priestess. The Star. It's like somebody has a choice between either betraying somebody or going and whistleblowing. What's the Three of Wands? Whoa, 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 whoa. There's the Queen of Pentacles again. The, whoa, there's the star. The star showed up earlier. We have the King of Swords, Five of Cups, and the Queen of Pentacles. King of Swords, Five of Cups, Queen of Pentacles. King of Swords could be an incoming energy. It could talk about uh, you know, the chariot. It could talk about some somebody with in, intelligence, some type of um, intellectual position or authority. The star could be about healing. It could be about wish fulfillment or somebody in the public eye. That's a lot of tarot, though. It's not really telling me exactly what it's about. It's. I feel like there's a lot of people involved here. I don't know what I'm getting exactly right now. Let's see. <clears throat> nope, it's not what I want. I'm just making a mess at this point. Oh my gosh. Okay. One more card for the Three of Wands, please. Two of Swords, Ten of Swords. Help us understand. One more card for the Three of Wands, please. One more card. There it is. What is that? The Hermit. Okay, so someone's reflecting on a betrayal here. Three of Pentacles, Page of Swords. Hmm. We stopped on the moon. The betrayal could be about um, lies, manipulation, deceit. 
Sometimes the devil could represent manipulation. It could even represent abuse. I feel like somebody may have been wearing a false mask pretending to be a queen of cups, but really they're the devil. And um, they've been spying on somebody and working together with other people to do something specific here. That's what I'm getting from this three of pentacles. But it's almost like this person, there's two energies here. I think it's the energy of the initial King of Pentacles that we saw as well as the Queen of Pentacles that's out here. They're popping up in a couple different energies. Um, they're both being fake as hell, right? They're both fake. That's what I'm getting here. They're both just, they're not being real about what's going on. We have a soulmate here, the bottom deck of the Echo Soul Oracle deck. And then behind that is round and round. This could represent karmic cycles. The negative card keeps wanting to pop out as well. <clears throat> but uh, the Two of Cups could talk about a soulmate union, but the Ten of Cups here is usually emotional fulfillment, or it could even be about fantasizing about something specific. So I feel like the King of Pentacles energy, whoever resonates with the masculine side, is the one that's over here um, thinking about how happy they are with a particular uh, person that gives them this two of cups energy they could even represent uh, their own wish fulfillment or they've been illuminated to the fact that they have a wish fulfillment with this particular individual that they deem as soulmate and then we have the ten of cups here which is about them actually thinking about 11 22 on the clock as i said that them thinking about having a family with this individual creating a life having a partnership um a loving home traditional settings things like that the sun could even be about um, becoming illuminated. The twin flame card almost wanted to come out there. The two of cups could sometimes represent a twin flame thing, but we don't have to get into that today. At least we're not going to. Wonder. Wonder wanted to be seen here. There could be this uh, new energy that this person's feeling, because I almost feel like this expansiveness with the sun and the rays coming out here, but it's almost like um, they're still stuck in this. <coughs> me all right let's get a card for the sun situation here what is this about spirit what's the sun situation i got over here harmony something that brings this person harmony they've been illuminated to what makes them happy now i see or could be an illusion of sorts <clears throat> Let's get a card for the devil here. What is the devil representing? What's going on with this energy of the devil? False mask. Oh my God, what was I saying? Somebody is not being true to who they really are here. I think somebody's been pretending to be very genuine, very kind. Um, they've been out outwardly to other people. They could be involved with a coworker. They could be. They could be. Um, I don't know why I'm getting this, but this person could be sending a coworker to go spy on somebody in particular. So, um, if this is something you're resonating with, with this energy, uh, but we're really still getting some of the story. I just. I feel like there's somebody here though that's pretending to be one way, but really they're another. And the way that they really are is negative. We saw the negative card wanting to pop out here earlier. <sighs> But yeah, I was on point with that false mask. There's something that was false here. And I feel like somebody was sold an idea that if they got with this particular person, they could have that type of soulmate relationship where there is harmony, there is happiness, there is enlightenment. 1344 on the clock when I said that. 13 is the number of the death card. So I feel like this person's been illuminated to the fact that that was a lie. They, they were manipulated into something. They did not actually get what they really wanted. And I don't know. I feel like this person's mask is falling off now. What's the Three of Wands energy? Uh, I don't want to take it. What's the Three of Wands spirit? What's the Three of Wands? Inner knowing. So someone's gone into hermit mode now, and they're at a crossroads. They've, they're have they aware of a specific betrayal that has occurred. It could have either been done by this person or done to them, either or. Um, but this person is in hermit mode. They're isolating themselves. They're not talking to anybody. They're, they're almost like studying something to... There's that crossroads. We, we landed on the decision card out here. 
I want to draw some more tarot. Let's see if I can find another tarot deck in here. I'm sure I can. Sorry. Un momento, por favor. Actually, let's just use this one. We're going to use the romantic tarot. Deck in a while. <laughs> you have a lot of um, cup energy coming from this particular person that's wearing a false mask. So I feel like they're they're pretending to be very emotional and stable, but really underneath it's like they go in private and they just let all of their instability out and they let it go and they come back to this particular person and they're like, they're all sweet and they pretend to be loving and whatever. Like they've definitely been pretending and roping this person into some shiz. Okay. What was the situation with this harmony over here? What kind of dream were they sold? What is this about? Competition. This person, oh God, this is so stupid. Honestly, if you can't have Jesus Christ, these people really piss me off. We have zero the fool here. Um, this somebody took a leap of faith somewhere. They 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 saw the competition, and I feel like this person came in and they sold this person on taking a leap of faith. And now, oh my gosh, look at this. Now they're heartbroken. Uh, hmm. Oof. I don't know why. I, I'm getting the sense that somebody may be, may be plotting how to stab somebody. That's crazy. I hope that's not legit. I hope that's just like my intrusive thoughts not exactly we have the two of swords out here again the in the full so i feel like this is kind of past energy current and then future so we have like past energy it already happened somebody was already sold into a dream and i feel like whatever they were there was competition conflict arguments i feel like somebody may have um just like once they got into that situation they realized, look, we have the five of pentacles out here. I feel like whatever situation they ended up in, it aged them. It left them feeling humiliated and they left, they were left out in the cold from the one that they really wanted to be with, I think. Ugh, yeah, I'm feeling just so tired now. It's like this person is... 1818 18 on the clock as I looked up this person is just trying to heal they're in her they're gonna if they're not in hermit mode already they're going to go in hermit mode and they're going to try and heal themselves from this particular situation I feel like it has exhausted them and but there is a sense of urgency Ugh, I don't know what is this uh, person with who's this person working with what's the three of pentacles about why are they spying on this individual? Tell me more about this situation here, Spirit. This is the Strength card. Hmm. Why would it be out here, though? Oh, you know what? Someone's trying to harness your strength. Or someone's trying to siphon off of your energy. Someone's trying to steal something from you. That's what's happening here. Look. We got the Ace of Cups. Seven of Wands. Huh. Hmm. Well, um, 
I'm kind of confused. There could be a couple of messages here. This could be somebody that, um, the person is harnessing strength. It could either be the King of Pentacles masculine energy. Because I feel like this masculine energy was the one that was sold a dream. And then we have this feminine energy here that I think is em embodying this Queen of Cups. But really, they're the devil underneath that. So they're actually in toxicity. They probably have addictions that they're overindulging in. Um, they could have like sex addictions. They could go off and seduce other people and have sex with them to in exchange for them spying on certain people for her i feel like maybe this person is like a leader of an organization or a certain group or maybe they're just like they like to have the control out of their community so they are the one that people go to to like talk to to get advice from to make certain decisions and i feel like maybe the person that she's dealing with doesn't know this and she's orchestrating a lot of stuff behind the scenes. It's almost like this, she's trapping this masculine. What is she trapping him in? What is she trapping him in? A marriage. Oh boy. Yeah. Yeah. This, this mofo could be about to walk down the aisle and he doesn't even know, doesn't even know yet. This could have already happened. He thinks that being with this person is going to get him riches and luxury and whatever. That's what he was sold. And this person's courting this person now or they could have in the past. Hmm. Look, we have the Seven of Swords and the Two of Wands. They're plotting, they're trapping, they're being sneaky about it. They're sending somebody some, you know what? There's somebody that they're targeting. Wow. I let's get okay. Well, let's get some. What's what's the situation on this hermit here? Three of Cups. An inner knowing. Ten of Swords. Three of Cups. The Hermit. Two of Swords. An inner knowing. I feel like this person knows that one of their friends betrayed them in a certain way. Hmm. This person could have sold a dream to this individual and then went out and snuck around and um, messed around with other people. And they could have had friends help them arrange these meetings with these other people. Because those friends were too insecure to speak up about what was going on. Because like I said, I think this person is abusing authority of some kind. Like they, like people look up to them. They're revered. They are um, people, they're responsible for something here. And I feel like this person, there's another energy over here that is aware of what this person has been doing or has already done. And... They're, it's like they're thinking about, uh-huh, yep, they're thinking about coming in fast to tell people what they know. Yes, there's the Ten of Swords again. This person's been sleeping around. This person has definitely been sleeping around. That's what I'm getting here. And I feel like this person's at the two of swords. They're deciding whether or not to whistle blow. <gasps> that's, what, that's what they're whistle blowing on. Oh my gosh, it's coming together. Okay. Yes. Separation decision. I feel like they're choosing to separate from this person and then they're going to whistle blow everything that they learned. Oh, you know what? Oh my gosh. A friend could be coming in and telling this person. And this person could have had a feeling all along that they knew this individual was out sneaking around. Oh my gosh. Okay. I feel like this is tying in. Okay. So many messages. Okay. <laughs> 
I feel like this reading is tying into the one that was coming out um, previously about somebody who is in a situation and some some shiz is about to hit the fan and when the path clears it's like the parting of the red sea right and this person is gone as fast as they can go when they see that path clear i feel like whatever situation is happening that is going to clear that path is because they are going to find out that this person was sleeping around we have two sevens here i feel like the divine uh, there's somebody here has is heavily protected and whoever they're being protected by whether it be spirit guides or whoever's around them I feel like the more grounded that this uh, masculine energy who got trapped in this dream over here gets the more they're going to be able to see and hear the messages coming from those um, those people they're going to know who the real issue is here and feel But this situation is complete, and I feel like they're deciding to come and tell someone about it. You know, once this situation ends, though, I feel like it's going to be a positive transformation to what has been going on. All right, bottom deck in the pre-shuffle of the numerology deck, we have personal growth here. This is a situation that's, that um, both of these energies will grow from. Look, love partnership. I'm telling you, these people were in a committed relationship. The feminine sold the masculine a dream, a pipe dream, I'm hearing, about a particular relationship or a situation about two people committing to be together for whatever reason. It may not even have been based off of love. It may have been based off of like a business or whatever. But I feel like um, these two were brought together and somebody was manipulated here and then there was a person doing the manipulation and I feel like they were in a love partnership or some type of romantic partnership because this person made them think that they were their soulmate of some kind and that they would have this crazy wonderful life together or whatever. And I feel like this person went all the way. They went totally through with it because this person manipulated them to where they had no strength left. Like she grabbed them by the balls and started taking control. Pardon my figurative speech there. And I feel like this person was trapped into a marriage. And now they're they're thinking about how to get out of it because their their friend has come forward with some information here. And whatever that information is, I feel like it's about what this person was doing behind the scenes. This person was pretending to be very gentle and loving and a godly person and possibly even virtuous. But really what they're doing behind the scenes is they're, they're sleeping around with all these other people. And somebody found out about that. Somebody found out about it. And there it's a secret now. And I feel like the secret's about to come out, or it has already come out, or it will come out. Sometimes my predictions are a few months in advance, so this could be something that's unfolding currently. This person could be out right now, sneaking around with somebody legit, and then you're not going to find out about it for like another six weeks or something like that. I don't know. It could be three weeks. Seven is out here a lot. You could be seeing the number five repeated. If you see fives, fives could represent conflict and change. We originally saw the um, five of wands out here. Five of wands could also be about competition. So I feel like this person felt threatened by another individual that this masculine was interested in. And then that's when she decided to jump in and manipulate his ass, trap him into a situation that she thought would work. But then I feel like whatever she was doing got caught up. And now this person is scot free fucking free the moon here that could be about secrets deep emotions dream state as well this masculine could be getting downloads in his dreams telling him where to go that type of situation whatever it is it's a cycle it's a karmic cycle this person could have been a situation that they all it could have been a situation that this person had returned to numerous times all right what is the five of wands about over here with the two of cups Ooh wanted to be seen look it's a it's a cycle karmic completion 10 this person only wanted to do this because 
they felt threatened by another individual here and then they manipulated this masculine they manifested this masculine into a situation he got trapped into i feel like now he has to heal from it so um you know he may not be able to go where he wants to go because he's gonna have to heal now all right what's this uh four of wands false mask situation here spiritual career <sighs> Career, false mask. Someone could be. Oh, look, this is what I'm getting. Somebody could literally pretending 30 30 on the clock when I said that. Somebody could literally be pretending that they have um, personal growth wanted to fall out. I feel like this person dabbles in occult practices. I mentioned that earlier person could have like an altar of some kind they could uh go behind the scenes and do spell work if that's something you resonate with now spell work doesn't even literally have to be <laughs> going out in the woods and sacrificing a chicken you know what i mean people do do that don't get me wrong there are some crazy mofos out there that will do that because it does conjure negative entities and you know whatever that's another video, but for now we're talking about the little forms of black magic, right? Black magic is any negativity sent towards somebody, right? That's in the form of talking ill, gossiping, um, going behind their back, plotting with other people to, to bring endings in their life, you know, things like that. You're literally just doing, you're, you're working spell work on this person, but... I feel like whatever they were trying to do to this individual, it's no longer working. <sighs> it's no longer working because it's over. Yeah. They're, it's almost like they're in a situation now where they can't, they can't keep trying anymore. There's been a rebirth, a transformation. This uh, masculine energy here has realized oh look he surrendered he now realizes something about this person i think like feel like god or the universe or source whatever you want resonate with was trying to show this individual something here and i feel like they know now what it is that they were trying to see and that they want to take them they want to go there's like a door here and i feel like it's a little bit of a portal this person almost it's almost like the decision that they're going to make here they're deciding how to walk through that door and it's a door of love. Look, check that out. Parenting. Wow. I was picking this up earlier. I feel like the person that this person could be working with to manipulate this masculine into a situation could have been this masculine's mother or a very close family member. And now, look, time out of love. They're, they're like, it's it. That's it. Time's up. This person is feeling very pressured to, like, come forward and whistleblow what he learned here. But I feel like this person is going to also retaliate. So they may that may be why they're in hermit mode. What's the inner knowing about here with this three of cups? Creativity. Yeah, he's that's why I'm saying he's strategizing how to work his way out of this situation right now. Patience. He's trying to be very patient in this situation because it calls. Oh, you know what? I'm getting the sense that this person might be a little abusive as well. And so this individual is like waiting for the right time to be able to sneak out. And let me tell you something about abusive domestic situations. There, I feel like that we saw the domestic harmony card, but there was a rebirth in the domestic harmony. So I feel like there was no domestic harmony. They were sold a dream of domestic harmony, but they didn't get it. And they're starting to realize that now and this person wants out, but I feel like they can't exactly get out because there may be a marriage involved here, or they may have signed a name on a deed to something, or they may have agreed to, you know, just have a commitment in some type of way to, you know, financially support them or whatever or they could have started a business with this person whatever it is that they're doing it's like this person wanted to trap them into something that was going to take a while to work their way out all right bottom deck in the pre-shuffle we have this could be the one you deserve love there's passion here okay what is this karmic cycle about here for this masculine that I'm picking up on. What is this karmic cycle about? 
What's the karmic cycle? Oh my God, unrequited love. This person didn't really love you. That's what I'm saying. This person, you, whoever I'm speaking to here, you could be the divine masculine watching, but when I say you, just take it how it resonates, please. But this person could have experienced unrequited love from this individual. And I feel like they were blinded to that. They sold them a dream of requited love, but it really wasn't. I feel like this person just took and took and took and took and took from this masculine until he was drained and had nothing left. And now he's trapped in a situation. He's stuck. I'm starting to drool. I was like just talking so much. We have clearly decide what you want so that it comes to you now. This masculine could be trying to manifest a situation out of, or a way out of this situation. All right. What is this um, devil energy about here with this Queen of Cups false mask? Spirit, how do you understand? about this false mask. Healing family issues. Well, there, there's something here about new love. Hmm. Well, we have separation. Okay, so they could person could have had to go to court and get legally separated from this individual but I feel like they might be in the middle of that type of situation now and I feel like the reason why look pay attention to the red flags here the signs are cautioning you your soulmate may differ from your usual type and expectations I feel like this person's realizing now that they may have gotten into a situation for superficial reasons Blah. it's like I can't talk I'm tripping over my words now what is this uh, creativity inner knowing about? Release your ex. Yeah. Okay, this is what I was saying. This person is strategizing how to get out of the situation. It's like they can't get out of it yet. There's something keeping them in it. They're having to be patient just a little longer. I'm not sure why. I only have a few more minutes left on my um, phone here recording but very soon wanted to be seen let's draw a tarot card about why he's stuck in the situation this masculine could be wanting to go and apologize to somebody they're feeling very burdened about wanting to do that but i feel like they might go they might do it they might whistle blow to the person that they need to apologize to why is this why am i getting the sense that this person can't leave yet spirit what's that about why can't this person leave yet? Temperance, having patience. They're trying to keep things calm. Money is involved here. There's something to do with money. King of Wands, left out in the cold chariot. Yeah, I feel like if this person leaves now, they're going to be drained of all their funds. So they might be trying to secure a way to um, not have to lose everything financially from this situation because it was like a legal contract legal binding type of thing i don't know yeah so somebody's home has been turned upside down here oh this could be about a house this could be about a house maybe they went in oh that's what i was saying maybe they went in on a house with somebody here and now they're like oh fuck, how do i get out of this because i definitely don't want to live with this person all right why are they stuck in a situation right now? What is this about? Spirit, one more card, please. There's the tower. What's behind the tower? Let's see. Bottom deck energy is death. Something's ending here. What's behind the tower? Three of cups. There's that friend coming in to tell this masculine something here. This, The whistle has been blown. I can't whistle. I tried to for dramatic effect. I just, I'm sorry. It's one of the things I was never able to do. I have a little bit of a list, if you can't tell. Okay, that's what I have for you for now. Before I lose um, time on my phone, I'm going to go ahead and stop recording this. But thank you for watching if you watch this far. If this is resonating with you and you know who this person is that, that you're feeling manipulated by, um, 
keep yourself safe. I would say if you need to take legal action, get like a restraining order or something. Make sure you document evidence of how this person may retaliate to you. If you need to save like screenshots or something like that, I would say do it because it may be in your favor later. Um, double check the documents of your contract here. If you were manipulated into a marriage with this individual, double check that. Um, maybe get a lawyer. That's only going to resonate for some of you, but, you know, just make smart decisions. Of course, I'm not giving you legal advice. Do not take that as legal advice. Thank you. That's all I have for you for now. If you watch this far, I appreciate that. Please be sure to like this video and subscribe. It helps me pick up on your energy for future videos. And I will be back to doing Zodiac readings soon, but I want to help you guys out through this uh, super moon Sagittarius energy so i haven't gotten back to them yet but i do plan on doing that soon and i'm going to pick back up with pisces where i left off the last video i did was for cancer so thank you for tuning in until next time